I'm Justine from Just Z Cosplay and I am going to be reviewing some new fabrics today from Spotlight's Cosplay Fabrics line. I reached out to Spotlight a few months ago when they first launched the Cosplay Fabrics subline and we started talking about the different needs of the cosplay community and they were nice enough to send me some of the fabrics to have a look at and to share my opinions on. So what I've got is some of the Cosplay Spandex the Cosplay Pleather and the Cosplay by Spotlight in bronze. And I'm really, really excited about new fabric full stop. So it's been really good to get my hands on this. So this is the Cosplay Spandex. It comes in silver and purple, and it also comes in blue, red, green, and gold. So it is a coated metallic fabric, um, a little bit like a PVC. It's stretchy always but it's more stretchy one way. So I'd probably consider it a two-way stretch rather than a four-way stretch. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be very nice. It's got a really good stretch. I sewed a bit of it together to see what it would look like because how things pull at the seams is especially important when you're wearing bodysuits, shorts, and you don't want to have that weird gapping that comes with stitching. So I just put a seam in there. And so this is it holds together really nicely, doesn't flake away from the seams, which is always important. And um, yeah, this actually looks really cool and really fun, would be good for superheroes, um, space costumes. Yeah, pretty good. That's the silver right there, so. <laughs> and then we also have the purple. And same deal, stretchier one way than it is the other. So definitely would consider it two way, but you could probably get away with it in some cases. It's gonna give you some, some flexibility. With the purple one, I uh, stitched it the other way rather than stitching it stretch wise. So still holds up pretty nice and firm, so that's pretty good. I'm excited to have a look at these. Um, I'm thinking that the silver I'm going to use for uh, the pattern on my Avengers Academy SIF jacket because it's such a beautiful smooth, they have a really unearthly silver to a lot of their armor. So I think that's what I'm going to use for that. Um, and yeah, and actually and it sewed really well. Uh, I just put it through my regular machine with a straight stitch and it was, it was really nice, it was really easy. Uh, I haven't tried top stitching it yet. Uh, probably need a Teflon foot or my old standby of chapstick. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to start working with those. This is the Cosplay by Spotlight in bronze. So it's just, I guess, a cosplay fabric. It's very similar to the um, one of the fabrics from cosplayfabrics.com, the Yaya Han collection. Reminded me really strongly of that at least. Um, and is a sort of a raised bump pattern meant to look like studding so probably really good for Dragon Age and a lot of those medieval type costumes. It is a, uh, a pleather with a fabric backing so probably really nice against the skin. Um, no stretch unfortunately um, which is too bad because they would make some pretty boss leggings but I think it's going to hold up really nicely to wear and tear and it beats studding it by hand because that's quite painful. This one also comes in a silver or a gunmetal, I think is the official name. So that could uh, probably be pretty useful for some people. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but um, I want to do something with it. It looks so luxe and beautiful. I think I saw online um, some, yeah, some Dragon Age stuff and some Cersei from Game of Thrones, this sort of style. So that's quite cool and fun. Uh, sewed it together again, held together really nicely, not a lot of gapping or pulling, and it's not flaking away from the seams. So I think it's going to hold up really nicely. And the last one we're going to look at is my favorite. Uh, when I opened this one, I, uh, I got a little up close and personal with it, stroked it, told it I loved it. Uh, this is the Cosplay Pleather in black, and this is so exciting. This is a four-way stretch, and it is a four-way stretch that is amazing. It is um, more of a, a leather look in the pleather than 
um, some of the uh, metallic, what is it called, the metallic foil or the um, liquid, the liquid one that I've used for other ones. So it actually has the grain. It's really, really nice because it's also got a beautiful soft backing. So it's going to be really nice to wear against the skin. I guess the only thing might be that it might get a little bit warm. But, I mean, a leather cat suit's going to get warm anyway, so. But, no, this is really, really cool. I'm not 100% sure what I want to make of it yet, make with it yet, but it's just beautiful and fantastic and where have you been all my life. So this one I'm, I'm really keen for. Again, sew a little bit of this one together. Holds together really nice. Um, I would probably use a stretch stitch rather than a... Um, a straight stitch like I've done here because it is pulling a little bit but it's not peeling it's not coming apart at the hold it's it's beautiful and um, yeah I'm really really excited to, to put something together with this um, so that is the start of Spotlight's cosplay fabrics line they're bringing out a lot of really cool new stuff that's geared towards the cosplay community it's fantastic to see them um, recognizing the market that you know we do have some sort of weirdly specialized needs as compared to quilters or people who are sewing regular fabrics. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Thank you very much to Spotlight for sending me these beautiful fabrics. Um, me and the, uh, the pleather are gonna go cuddle for a little while. Um, if anyone's got any suggestions on what I should make with the fabrics, how they can be used, I would love to hear them. Um, like I mentioned, I'm thinking about using the uh, silver for Avengers Academy SIF on the trim, but yeah, the purple, it's beautiful. I don't know what to do with it, but it's beautiful. And the, um, the studded fabric here, and of course the pleather. Let's make some cool stuff, you guys. Um, questions or comments, pop them in the box below and we can have a chat. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for having a look. If you've tried some of these, Share what you've made. It would be really cool to see what other people have made with some of these fabrics. And hopefully I'll be back with some more of you soon. Thanks. Bye.